In this video I'll be unboxing the HP touchpad. If you're not aware of the whole touchpad thing, HP released this tablet not that long, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago or something, and then decided to kill it off this week because it wasn't selling anything and yeah. And in doing that, they decided to drop the price, as you can see here, to £89 in the UK for the 16 gig model, £115 in the UK for the 32 gig model, and then $99 in the US for the 60 gig model, 16 gig model, and I think it was $150 in the US for the 32 gig, which is a fantastic saving over the 400 odd pounds or whatever it would have cost before they killed it off. And it's still got a really good potential in this tablet, it's a really good, nice little tablet. So let's have a look at what you actually get for £89 in the tablet. Okay, so let's take a look at the box. So, here it is. I apologise for not having the best camera angle, I'm just sort of doing this very quickly because I really want to use it. It just arrived, like, two minutes ago. So here we have a picture of the tablet. It says WebOS there, which is the operating system it's running. However, there is a project called TouchDroid that is working on porting Android to this. There it's HP Touchpad. So TouchDroid does look promising, however, just noticed today they have had some problem with another group member sort of stealing tablets or something like that, so but hopefully we'll release it. There's another HP logo, top there's nothing, this side's just black HP logo, on the back some more information about it, stuff it contains, and also down there, Beats Audio, which is that Beats by Dr. Dre Audio, which is like some high quality audio that HP use in all their devices, or their higher end devices, so there's some random stuff. Okay, does that say this has got a B next to Wi-Fi, I hope it's not just wireless B. But, oh no, it's not it's A and it's A. That's fine. Um, so, let's take the plastic off. Okay. So, what they do here is it's really nice to give you a little plastic tab. You can actually peel the plastic off, which is much better than half times you've got to cut it off with scissors. Oh no, it sort of unwraps it. So, Random's like cut it off and spent each time to do that. That's that. I'll skip rid of that. Drop it on the floor. And there it is. So, it's. That's a very sturdy box, it's quite a nice little box. So to get in these tabs here, I'll need scissors to get these. Um, scissors over here. And then cut these open. Right, no. I need to get a knife or something to do this. <laughs> scissors don't really cut it. It's here. Uh, and anyway, while I'm trying to cut this off, we'll talk about the tablet. If you think about though, with this price, even though it's dead and not really got much support or apps for it really, you if you look at what other tablets you're going to get for the price, you'll be able to get maybe well, you won't be able to get any really. It's not the price of an e-book, uh, an e-book, a cheap e-book reader or a photo digital photo frame even. Um, to get something that we compare to the, as even the cheapest tablet is going to be like one of these sort of fake iPad things you find on eBay that's like an A-pad or something and that'll run Android so there may be a few more apps for it but it'll be really slow this is a really high spec tablet it's got 1.2 gigahertz um, Snapdragon processor dual core and 1 gig of RAM so it's a really powerful tablet and it's a capacitive touch screen IPS so an IPS is like really high quality screen technology okay, so I finally got it cut open so we can slide it out There we go. Oh. That's it. Now, when I first picked it up, I thought this, ta this package is really heavy. This is actually really heavy, just a bit of the box. It's a really thick cardboard. I don't know how much that costs them to produce. So here's a tablet. Really nice looking. And then here's a sort of accessory box. Let's see what you get in here. Okay, so here we get a um, USB to mini USB connection. I've not got about 10 of those lying around. It means I can can't lose one. Here we have a European plug. Ah, and here we have, that's okay, I thought, that's stuck. Yeah, there it is. Here we have the UK plug, that's good, I thought they didn't get one or something for some stupid reason. Here we have the sort of power brick bit. But this is actually a nice design, I'll put that out of the way for it. Now, is what you'll see is that this bit, sort of, this fit in, so if you're obviously in the UK you'll be putting this end on and have it like that. However, if I'm going on holiday to Europe, I don't need one of these travel adapters because I can just screw this on eh, like that. 
which is really nice actually, that's quite handy. Because it's, it's a lot neater, because I've got another sort of multi-country USB charger, but it's not nearly as neat as that, so that's nice. So I'll put these over there, and get the tablet out of the box. So here's the tablet, I'll put that out, and then we'll put that aside just now, and look at the accessories. Which has a little tab here to lift it out, and I think that's everything else in this box. That's it, yep, just broken the box now. Go me, that's it. Okay, just dump that over there and see what you get in this little accessories thing. So H nice HP logo on the front. Such a fancy packaging. I mean just like I can't believe it sort of killed this off. I mean it's it had a lot of potential. So here's your getting started guide. Quite quite actually thick. Well it is all different languages. Um just how to set up web West accounts and stuff. And basic usage on it. A navigation guide, now this is quite useful. This is details about how you actually use use it, so all different gestures it supports because it is a bit sort of you want to learn like how to you swipe from the edge of the screen and stuff on some of the things. So this is quite useful, maybe quite useful to read that first. HP support, your warranty, safety and legal information, and a really nice cleaning cloth. This is actually quite nice, it's quite it's a big cleaning cloth cloth, which is good because I've always well the ones I've got are just quite small little tissue things. That's actually nice, it's even got a I don't know if you can see that on yeah, you can see it on camera. Little HP Logan Corner, that's a nice little touch. So you can tell even though it does cost eighty pounds, it's not an eighty pounds tablet, it's a you know, a very expensive, quite high end tablet that's just been crazy reduced. So there it is there. Very nice looking. So to go to the front, you can see it there, and in the back, that's it there. Very nice, so let's just take it out of its wrap, it's plastic. Little tablet, just peels off. Oop. Not peel off. <laughs> and then oop. Eh, uh, there. And then there. <laughs> and that's it. So, that's the tablet there. Very nice looking tablet. Down the bottom here, you've got your home button, which you can't really see, but I, th I think that lights up from what I've seen. Up the top, you've got your front facing camera. On the back of the device, just HP logo. Very nice looking thing. On the side, you've got a uh, Two speakers, these are your Beats audio speakers, so it should be quite high quality. Headphone jack, there, can't really see it on camera. There's a little microphone there, tiny little thing. And the power switch, there. I have noticed the fingerprints, it is already picking up a lot of fingerprints. So it is a fingerprint magnet device, so you need to obviously clean it all up. But you've got the cleaning cloth for that HP, obviously, realise. So let's see if it's got any power in it. Turn it on, so turn it on, this little button here. And then it doesn't start up. Yep, there we go, HP logo. Nice bright high resolution screen. In fact, this screen also has a resolution of 1024 by 768, which is actually which is a really good resolution. It's about the same resolution as a sort of old old style 15 inch LCD monitor. Okay, so it's finally booted. That was quite a long startup sequence, but not the end of the world. I think it made a noise there, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I was just hearing things or something outside. But very nice little screen at start. So press English or your language, then. That's really nice actually, it sort of does a little pulse, sort of ripple effect when you press things. So it lets you show where you're typing quite accurately, that's good. Um, but it also feels extremely fast sort of clicking through these things. So that's it. Oh, Center for networks, so I'm only going to put my network key in. Do X. Gets it connected to my network. And what I want to say was the keyboard is actually really nice to type on. So, that's it, connecting. It says signing in, I'll give you a close up of that better. So you see it's signing in. Oh, there we go, finally in. Oh, spinning. Let's see what it's going to do next. Another thing is, this, I think this is Gorilla Glass on this screen, which means it's extremely scratch resistant. So that's really good as well. And it also supports wireless charging. Now, you need to buy a separate dock for that called a Touchstone. I don't have one, they're sold out everywhere. I mean, these are all sold out everywhere as well. but. If you can get, if you've got one, or you can get one, that there is a good, good thing. You just sit it on it, and it charges it. So, in terms of conditions, feels nice, fluid actually. Let's continue. The other thing with this is like trying to buy it. It was a complete disaster trying to buy this. I, I ended up going through Dixon's PC World and Curry's trying to buy them. So now I've got accounts with all of them. Don't really want the accounts, but I've got them. And all the sales failed. Then I went to Best Buy, got to the end of the checkout, ran out of stock. Then finally got this from Car from Warehouse in a sort of, and that was in like a 15 minute gap when the website wasn't down. 
So it was absolutely mad. And it was sort of, was it coming, was it not coming? Did they have stock? Phone them loads of times on hold for hours on a premium rate number. Finally got this. <laughs> Just arrived. So I'm really pleased. So next you need a WebOS account. So we do that. So create a new account. Uh, okay, so I'll need to go and do that now. Okay, so it's finally finished. So there's some Google Terms of Service off setting because it's got Google search in it. Let's set terms and conditions. And then... Take that off. Uh, also locate. Uh, now I'll leave that. Okay, continue. So it's set up complete. It'll restart in a minute, moment. So now the wait begins again to wait for it to restart. Okay, so that's it finally restarted. It didn't take as long to start that time, so hopefully that was just sort of first boot took a while. So that's it there. Um, really, really nice. So up here on the top you've got your sort of notification stuff. That thing there. As nice as you adjust your brightness so you can turn it up. It goes quite bright. It's not super bright, but it's nice. Um, information here, VPN stuff, rotation locks, all done through this bit menu here. Which is actually quite nice. Okay. So then you've got your search, which is really good. I go back and browser, mail, calendar, chat. I think that'll be photos. Oh, photo gallery. Oops, didn't mean to open it. It's opening now anyway. Let's leave it there. And there you go. So let's say let's get better lighting so you can see the screen. That's probably a bit better if I just turn the lights out so it's easier to see the screen on it. So, here's all the stuff about adding photos, don't need that, the little home light things lit up now so you can turn that, use that, it's nice. So this is your cards system for switching between apps. So all your open apps would show here. So if I were to open another one, it would come up, so if I were to open the calendar, it opens on a separate card. And once that opens, apps do take a little second to load, not too much. And there's the other cards thing. So if I now to go back, it now shows me both these cards, and I can just go like that, and I can switch between them, just like that. So it's a really nice multitasking system. If you want to get rid of an app, you just chuck it off the top of the screen and it goes away. So let's look at the pre-installed app. So you go to here, and there's some apps. So you've got web, email, calendar, messaging, memos, quick office, which is an office and office suite, Adobe Reader, maps, contacts, phone and video calls, music, photos and videos, clock, calculator, Facebook tablet, and YouTube. So that's really nice. Over here, and then up here you've got different tabs. So you've got apps, downloads, which is the app catalogue, favourites, which is obviously your favourite apps, and settings, which is, well, settings. So that's, let's see how the web browser goes, the sort of final test. So it's opening up now, that's it. So let's test it, say, load YouTube. Enter. It's loading. That's nice, that's actually quite fast. And the other thing with this as well is it's got full flash support, if you didn't see that. But we've also got pinch to zoom. Pinch to zoom is a bit jumpy, it's not gr it's not perfect. I mean, it does sort of stutter occasionally, but it's not too bad. And we can go up the corner. And for £89, this is ridiculously good. So, search for me, I'll just do it in the URL. It doesn't look like it's been sort of stirred with a stick. Probably by the couriers. So as you see there, the motion is very even nice, it's, it's very smooth, that's really good. And sound is also really good. So turn it up. That's full volume. CD for it, for drivers, but it's always very high bass. I mean, I can actually, this thing, thing is actually shaking in my hands actually as it's playing the bass. See if we can actually put it up to HD, so that's 720p. This will be a big test on it. Oh, it went a bit weird, but... And there you go, it is actually playing Something. HD video, 720p HD on YouTube. Pretty well. There we go. That's HP Touchpad. Thanks for watching.